Hello and welcome to Bro Duel. This time we have the Paladin armor set and artifacts. The mod adds a full armor and weapon set inspired by the Knights of the Nine DLC for Oblivion. But to keep things fresh, it comes with a completely new look based on the Breton armor concept art from the Elder Scrolls Online. It introduces these items through a new lore friendly questline that also takes inspiration from some of the quests found in the Oblivion DLC. To start it, you'll just need to pray at any of the shrines to the Eight Divines. The quest will then automatically begin, and your next objective is to pray at every other shrine in the game. Most of these can be found fairly easily. You can even head to Solitude's Temple of the Divines for a shortcut. However, the mod also adds four new shrines to the game, based on the divines from the various other pantheons in Tamriel. These divines aren't really worshipped in Skyrim, and so their shrines are much more rare. In fact, only one of each exists in the whole of Skyrim. To find them, you'll have to use the new shrine map in your inventory. Most of the quests will rely on these vague clues and hints to lead you through it, so it's not your typical quest where everything is handed to you. As always, we don't want to spoil too much, and we'll leave you to discover the exact shrine locations for yourselves in-game. But if you're just looking to get your hands on the set as fast as possible, then there's a full walkthrough that you can download from the mod page. After that's done, you'll be stripped of your belongings and sent to face the Paladin's Trials. This is a series of tests that come in the form of riddles and puzzles, that can either be solved using your knowledge of the lore, or just by trial and error. There's also a cool chess based puzzle in there too, which is something we haven't really seen before in any other quest mod. At the end of the quest you're rewarded with every piece of gear added by the mod. This includes a full armour set that can be both heavy or light armour depending on what you choose when you first loot it. There's also a shield, which again can also be heavy or light depending on your build. There are two new weapons, the sword, Chrysomir, and the mace, Light of Day. Chrysomir is a very popular modded weapon, so even if you've only played Skyrim, you're probably still quite familiar with it. These both come in one-handed and two-handed variants, and like the armour pieces, you get to choose which style you want when you first loot the item. And finally, there's also the Ring of Finasta. The set is fully compatible alongside all races, genders and weights. Every piece can also be tempered at the appropriate workbench. Apart from looking absolutely fantastic and coming in three different options at 1K, 2K and 4K resolutions, the new items are also extremely unique in their enchantments. These are mostly based on the enchantments found on the similar armour in the Oblivion DLC. Most pieces come with both a passive and an active. The active is in the form of a new spell that can only be accessed when you have that specific piece of armour equipped. So for example, wearing the helmet makes paladin related skills level up 15% faster. It also lets you use the serene beauty spell that calms enemies, allowing you to show mercy on the battlefield. The cuirass is blessed, and when your health is low, Akadash might alter time itself to save you. It also grants a spell called Divine Guardian which lets you summon a holy follower to help you in battle. It's pretty strong, but also comes with a long cooldown. The gauntlets help you deal 20% extra weapon damage to evil beings, and also grants the spells Merciful Touch and Merciless Touch. These two spells will either heal the living or burn the undead, but you have to get up close to use them. The boots offer Woodland Grace, causing animals to neither attack or flee from you. They also give you the Faith Walk spell, which lets you walk on water and take reduced fall damage. While blocking with the shield, you'll use Illidan's Ward. On top of blocking incoming damage, the ward will increase your health regeneration by 75%, and for every successful block, the healing rate will increase. The weapons themselves also come with unique enchantments. Chrysomir has a chance to reflect incoming spells if you stop them with a timed block, which means hitting the block button in the second before a spell is about to hit. Light of Day on the other hand will simply burn targets for extra damage, and also cause burning enemies to take increased damage from all sources. And finally, the Ring of Finasta offers some resistance to all magic, poison and shock damage. The base stats of the gear put it on par with glass or ebony armour from vanilla, so when combined with the unique enchantments, the set is definitely for the late game. However, it's certainly not overpowered. Most of the enchantments only offer buffs against the undead or offer other gimmicks that don't really help you out in combat, but are great for roleplaying as a paladin, like the ability to walk on water or not have animals attack you. All in all, the mod is simply amazing. It's so well put together, all the way from the start of the quest to the finishing touches on the extremely high quality armour and weapons. The mod has been cleaned and should be compatible alongside any other mod, although you might have to disable shrine altering mods to begin the quest. If you're interested in giving it a go, you can find everything you need down below. And as always, be sure to leave endorsements on any mod you enjoy, also be sure to check out g2a.com for some cheap games, and thanks for watching.